Lali Bella, um, we've been talking about quite a few things and uh, Oscar Basturius, I threw it on the table, I did it, I did it. Now, Mrs. AKA Shady, <laughs> what exactly is your opinion on the case? Well, um, firstly, if I compare it to um, the situation with Jup Jup, the artist who was apparently high, was driving and knocked a kid, um, I feel that it's unfair compared to Oscar's case. Oscar was accused, or well, found not guilty on murder, but he was found guilty of culpable, culpable homicide. homicide yes. And I just feel that um, compared to Jup Jup, who's also a public figure, mm -hmm. um, what he did was more culpable homicide because he drove, it was no intention to kill anybody, yes he was high, but mm -hmm. he ended up killing somebody and he did time for that. Mm -hmm. um, compared to the Oscar case, he intentionally took his gun and shot to the toilet and with his four shots he killed Rio Vistian Kamp and in, in some strange way that is considered culpable homicide but his intention was to kill, especially for the fact that it was four shots and not just one warning shot which I believe should have been his first move because he's a trained gunman, he shoots a lot, um, he has the training and he should have known better than just, you know, shooting four times. Taking into consideration um, on how many times his house has been broken into and the people trying to, him getting death warnings and all these funny things that are playing out, do you not perhaps think that um, he reacted because um, he was scared, he was frightened and he, was, he, was, he didn't know, he didn't know what he was doing, you know, it was a, a sudden movement that he did. I understand that but based on all his um, fears and his all, all his security pr um, issues, mm. he lives in a complex, a security complex. Okay. I'm sure in his house he has emergency buttons, one in his room, one close to the toilet, who knows. So for me, if I had all those fears of you know living alone and getting all those death, death threats, living in a security complex, there's ways and means. He could have called security firstly, he could have pressed an emergency button, but his first initial move was grabbing his gun. His natural instinct was grabbing a gun and I believe he shot to kill. Do you think Oscar likes playing with guns? I mean, hearing about uh, the restaurant incident, the car shooting the, the rooftop, I mean the, the roof, do you think Oscar and guns were once upon a time best friends? <laughs> I do believe that he's obviously have, he has an obsession with shooting. Um, everybody has different highs, the different things that um, you know that gives them adrenaline, and I believe that this was one of that. It was a hobby for him. Um, I've seen cl clips on YouTube of um, him shooting at watermelons. watermelons. Uh -huh. um, so he definitely knows the the impact that the ammunition that he had has on any kind of whether it be flesh or fruit or whatever. Okay, the way forward. What? A, how? Sentencing, how should it go? If you had five minutes to sit uh, with uh, the judge, what exactly would you tell her? How would you advise her best as to how to sentence Oscar? Um, well, from an opinion that is purely just a normal one, I have no legal expertise, I don't, I don't have any knowledge of that. I think he needs to do some time. I think he needs to some, be made. Some enough for you. You know, a, a, a friend of mine mentioned on, on Facebook, her status was, you know, Somebody died, yes, right enough, but somebody else also still has to live. So, yes, he needs to do time. People need to make an example of him. He needs to, he shouldn't get favor, favoritism or special treatment because he is a public figure. He should do the time, pay for what he did, um, and have Riva really rest in peace, and especially her family. Because I'm sure 100% that this is not a satisfying kind of sentencing that he's getting. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You're welcome. To Riva's family, do you have anything you want to say? Um, you know, God bless and, you know, that's the only place you can find comfort. Yes, you lost the daughter, but, you know, life goes on and just keep strong. Love, love.